Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new to the channel, I am Sended Steve, and today we are actually going to go ahead and cut out all of the visible rust that I can find on this thing, and uh, we're going to start tearing the cab out of it. So this video is going to be kind of a weird one because I've never done this. So at first, what I was going to do, I will put in the clip of me cutting this out, but the first thing I was going to do was I was just going to go ahead and cut you know where the rust was actually bad and then just go ahead and make replacement panels however i think it's just best for me at this point to just go ahead and cut out basically from the frame like all of this right here that you see now is the actual frame of the ramp uh, bed itself so when you come under here you actually see up here um that it is actually the uh, frame so from this thickness uh, up is actually still really really solid metal as you can tell it's in absolutely good shape so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and cut out basically everything from this uh five inch uh channel down as you can see here i didn't make the cleanest of cuts um i didn't really know what i was doing again guys i'm doing this all for the first time ever i've never done anything like this um but it should turn out rather good i got a grinder we're gonna go ahead and grind this up to where it actually you know sits flush and actually is squared off and everything um but this is my first time attempting something like this so again i think it's best i just completely cut it all out and just weld in i'll weld in my own supports and everything that we need um basically the same way you see it here is the same way we're going to rebuild this thing and put this thing back together because obviously if it was good enough here it's going to be good enough the second time so i ordered um i talked to my buddy over at regal metalworks um cole and I sent him all my measurements. I sent him all the panels that I need and everything. I know this probably looks like gibberish and I'm sorry, uh, Cole, for sending you over something like this and having you kind of go over it. Um, but Cole's gonna go ahead and cut the uh, square uh, tubing that I need at the lengths that I need. And then he's gonna pick or cut me the angle iron pieces that I need to go ahead and make the bin. So the bin here is actually going to be shorter um, and it's not going to be as, uh, well, it's not going to be as tall. Um, the bin itself is actually in really good shape from about the 14 inch mark. Um, from here down to 14 inches the whole way around. So we're just going to cut completely out that and then we'll make our own door here when we get to that point. So the way you see this guys first, I'm going to go ahead and close this off. Um, so you won't actually see a bin here just for the final release. And then I'm going to come back in and we're going to make the door for the bin. We're going to cut everything that we need and go from there. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and cut this off. I'm going to cut the other side off. And then by then, Cole should have the metal that we need ready for this. So before we go pick that stuff up from Cole, I'm going to go ahead and show you the footage from cutting this out and then the other side. Cole definitely made this easier for me. I really appreciate it. No, you don't. I was going to cut it myself, but I was like, ah, eh, he's got the actual equipment to do it. And it was just so much easier to pay the extra dollars now. Because let's think about it. I would have cut it and used it in saws while blades anyway. So this is a nice, cleaner, cleaner, refined look, we'll call it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 
fit better because it's all measured out. Definitely. So if you guys need anything, definitely check him out. Regal Metalworks. I have his phone number on the screen and his just uh, link in his link to his description down below. He needs work. He's starting a mobile business now too. Yeah. See, I just put that out there. <laughs> yep. So now the work is gonna start. But let's get this loaded up and get back to the house. Alrighty, we're out here plugging and chugging. As you can tell, I got all of the rust cut out here. This is actually perfectly flat. Um, so we've got this flattened out. It will be a shorter box uh, when we're done with it, but it's not that big of a deal. The only thing we'll put in uh, the bin is probably gonna be like ratchet straps. There might be a battery in here, uh, maybe some winch tie-offs or something like that. I'm not really 100% sure what we're gonna put in here, but I think shortening it, that four inches that we shortened it is gonna be plenty, not a big deal. Um, as you can tell, we just went ahead and cut out all of the bad metal here. That's the old frame that was in it. There, let me get out of the shadow there, but that was the old frame. And now I'm coming back in here with a grinder and you can see here how uneven this was. I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna flatten all of this out, smooth it all out. I'm gonna cut off, I think, I'm gonna cut off the uh, where they welded the other brackets up through here. And uh, we're just gonna make this look as good as possible. So making great headway. Um, I do still gotta cut the front of the bin off here, um, but I think I'm gonna wait until I pull the cab off because it'll just be easier to do the backside. Um, so not a big deal, we'll get that taken care of. The cab should be off, I'd assume like Monday or Tuesday this week, I'm either gonna rent a skid loader or see if a buddy of mine can bring a skid loader over and we're just gonna you know, lift the cab off, put the new one on, and then he can take the skid loader and leave or the one that I rented, I can take it back. Uh, if I do rent one, we're gonna do some yard maintenance too. So. We're plugging and chugging guys we're making some pretty good killer headway here and i am freaking pumped to say the least this is actually coming out a lot better than i thought it was going to be um i was definitely super nervous about doing this but with you know regal metalworks stepping up and cutting out the metal that i need i know everything will be precise and uh all i basically have to do is it's like a big puzzle at this point i just got to go ahead and put the puzzle together so that's what we're doing we're gonna clean everything up Alrighty guys and girls, so we're dropping the wheels off here to my buddy Davies Polishing. If you need anything polished, definitely check him out. He's the man to do it. We've got everything dropped off. He's going to do the center caps. He's going to go ahead and get everything. And he just moved into a new location, so he needs all the business he can get right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're getting up and rolling. It's, uh, yeah. Definitely. Just well, got moved in this week, so. Congratulations on the new place. It's definitely an upgrade. Yep, yeah. Yeah. Yep. But better you got to start somewhere. Better not not having a shop at all, put it that way. Yeah. So still going to be doing some mobile stuff, but going to get, get to the shop what I can, so. Yep. Well, there you go. So we dropped off the wheels here. You guys will see in a little bit the final uh, product of these on the truck. So stay tuned and thanks again. Yep. Looking good. Feeling smooth. I got all of the Bondo out of it. Um, yeah, there are still some spots, but obviously um, somebody put a lot of time into it. Once I got here, there was no more Bondo, so this is still the original frame. Um, I'm assuming they basically uh, just kind of boxed in the panels here because everything where they're like this wasn't is uh, like Bondo. So from like here over was all Bondo. Then like this section hasn't been, and then you can tell here where the Bondo actually begins again. So somebody just Bondoed it in so that it was a smooth look, which it doesn't, it's not terrible, but definitely was a lot of bondo on the outside of this steel so i'm gonna go ahead and again we're gonna wait until i pull the cab off to do this section here but
So are you see these? These are wire nuts. These go in like home electronics, not in automotive. Never use these in a car. What are people thinking? We don't use them in a car. Unbelievable. And before you do this, you should go find the power source and disconnect the power source. But I'm a rebel, so we're just gonna let it hang till now. Home electronics only, guys. Do not put them in your automobile. All right, so I think I found why it didn't work in the back here. I found a broken wire. Um, obviously, it's been broke for a while, and somebody literally tried to ground out by going to the seat. So this was there. They tried to ground out going to the seat underneath uh, or ground under the seat, which is weird. That's probably why it didn't work, and uh, that's probably why we had so many start issues. But it is what it is at this point. We got her running. She fires right up. Um, literally, the bump of a key, she'll fire up. Oh, purrs like a kitten. Man, I love this thing. America! Stinky. You're excited to go to school and be like, I rebuilt that truck with my dad. Definitely. No. Where did you even find that? The trash can? I know it's super loud here. They're actually working over here. They're pressure washing another truck, ready to get polished. So definitely check out Davey's polishes. He did a knockout job. That is your sneak peek of the caps and everything. His link will be in the description below, but let's get back to the house. Alrighty guys and girls, well, that is gonna go ahead and conclude this video. We have obviously got the cab off and I gotta admit, no, this is not the most ideal thing for a stone driveway or anything like that, but you know I got plenty of trucks. We got plenty of things that can actually help assist, move this thing back, move this thing around. I got a truck up here, truck down there. If I need to, I got trucks down here. We can always find a way to get this thing unstuck if it does get stuck. And it, it doesn't get like crazy stuck as you've seen the, uh, the Silverado there was able to pull it out without with ease. So it is what it is. It definitely made everything a hell of a lot easier than trying to use, uh, you know, an engine hoist or jack stands or I don't even know how I was going to do it. Um, but this definitely made it so much easier. So there you guys have it again. If you like the content, please smash that like button. Please subscribe. And the next time you see this thing, it will be in paint, ready to rock, ready to roll. And I'm just freaking excited, guys. So there you guys have it. Please give it a big thumbs up and uh, we'll see you guys in an upcoming video.